seventh graders, Miss Bailey here. I'm just going to get you caught up if you missed our lesson today from ELA. So I'm in Google Classroom. And if you're doing it today, you're looking for day 17, uh, May 12th, the virtual class. Or if you're looking at it another time, you want to find quarter four, week four, creative writing. We're focused on mood this week. All right, so you want to open up day 17. And the first thing, the materials you need for today, I do now, the presentation, just to talk through, review, and then the classwork. So the first thing we did was our do now. All right, so you want to type in your email address, your 890 number. So right, I know at rcsd101.org, and then put in your name, and then what class you're in, 7172, 7374, whatever, whatever class you're in. Okay, and then do you think social media is a good thing or a bad thing? Please write at least two sentences. I think social media is a because... Maybe you think it keeps people connected or or you think it's a bad thing. Maybe you want to change this and you want to say, I think social media is a bad thing because people don't talk to each other. Anyway, give me some reason why you like or don't like social media and then hit submit. Um, and then the next thing you need to do is the presentation right here. Presentation. All right, so we already did this do now, and then our learning targets, I can identify mood in a piece of writing. I can create a specific mood in a piece of writing with descriptive writing. So we're doing, we did our do now, now we're going over the mood notes, and then you're going to identify mood, and then we're going to practice writing. All right, what is mood? What is tone? Mood is the general feeling that a piece of writing creates for the reader. It's developed by describing and creating a setting, theme, voice, and tone. So, like the mood, when we read A Long Walk to Water, and Naya has to try and get water for her family, a lot of the time she's, she's tired, or she's nervous, um, or she's exhausted, and we feel that mood of exhaustion in the way that they describe Naya and, and how Naya describes things that are going on. The tone is, it shows the narrator's attitude, developed by the words the author chooses to use. So they're very, very similar. Okay, here we go. Um, how is mood created? There's five things to help create mood. The first thing is the setting. How the setting is described affects the mood. It helps the author make hints about what will happen. So what's our setting in uh, A Long Walk to Water? They're in Africa. Um, and then what's the setting in um, the crossover, the basketball book? Okay, so there's sometimes they're at home, sometimes they're at the gym playing basketball, sometimes they're at the rec center, they're at all these different places, and all those things set up the mood. Two, style, the words we use to tell the story. This can be how we describe information and how we structure our sentences. So what is the style of A Long Walk to Water? Um, it's written as if it tells us the date every time at the beginning and where they are, what country. But then what's the style for a crossover? It's written all in poems. So that, that definitely helps describe the mood. That's the style. Okay, the third thing is the viewpoint, deciding who tells us story so there you know there, sometimes there's a narrator who's telling us someone else's story but in the crossover it's um josh right filthy mcnasty he is telling us the story so we're seeing his mood directly his thoughts his feelings are coming right through tone the author's attitude towards the topic is it expressed by our word choices if we use a depressing tone, our readers will feel sad. It's the words that you use that, and then upsetting, setting up what's going to happen. 
five the genre the kind of story changes the mood a thriller should make you feel unsettled an adventure should make you feel excited so it's the idea that what kind of book it is will impact how the what the mood of the story will be okay so then these are types of moods just to give you some examples it can be funny calm cheerful angry sad selfish embarrassed frustrated odd silly all of those are types of moods okay so then on to the last part of the lesson here we can go to the classwork and this is really short today so it shouldn't take you too long all right again you want to put in your email your 890 at rcsd121.org i miss bailey put your name in there and then what class are you in next okay which moods have been created by the author in the passages below read the passage then identify the mood it was a dark and stormy night i sat alone in the dilapidated house dilapidated means it falling apart dilapidated house staring out the window the sky was black the wind was loud and the rain slammed against the broken window pane i shut my eyes remembering my earlier visit i felt so embarrassed and angry when i opened them the lightning bolt flashed and lit up the room once more i had to get out of the house i had to hide no one could know my horrible mistake i opened the door took a deep breath and ran out into the cold and rain Okay, so what is the mood of the passage above? How do you know? The mood of the passage above is scared or sad. I know the person is sad because it's raining outside. how they use the setting to help tell me the mood it's raining I know that that person is sad also I could talk about how she talks about how she had to get out of the house and she had to run away I could say she's scared because I know she's scared person is, is scared because she um, is running away so I guess I should change this to sad because that's what I describe okay uh, you can use that one or you can come up with your own for you when you fill, out, fill in this chart. Read the passage below and then identify the mood. Blank Space by Taylor Swift. Cherry lips, crystal skies, I can show you incredible things. Stolen kisses, pretty lies, you're the king, baby, I'm your queen. So what is this mood? I'm going to say the mood is romance, right? There's stealing kisses. It is romance. I know this is the mood because they are, I'm going to quote, stealing. Well, I guess it's not air phrases because they say stolen. Stealing kisses, which is romantic. Okay. So again, you could use my thing or you could say, I know the mood is exciting because she says she can show them incredible things you, anything that you can use from the text to support whatever mood you believe is in the song all right this last one read the passage then identify the mood as the waiter presented an elegant and decadent looking piece of black forest cake i started drooling uncontrollably my eyes now only on the cake nothing could ever take my attention now so oh black forest cake is so good it's a chocolate cake with cheese, cream cheese frosting and cherries it's very good um so the mood is what i know this is the mood because tell me what the mood is oops the mod the mood tell me what the mood is and tell me how you know and you hit go ahead and hit submit and that's it for today and then we did I had a brief talk about uh, school and some other things going on but um, I let me know if you guys need any help with the rest of this assignment what